everyone. For today's project, you're going to need to start with a square piece of paper. Ultimately, the size and color is up to you. I'm going to be using an 8 inch by 8 inch square piece of white paper, but feel free to jazz it up with some shimmery, sparkly paper, or maybe even some that has glitter. Step one with your square piece of paper is to fold your paper in half diagonally. This may take a little bit of time, but try to match up the corners and crease the best you can. For the next step, I make sure to rotate the paper so that the bottom side that does not open is facing me, and you are going to cut diagonal slits up towards the top. For your first time, I recommend only cutting two slits on each side. The more you cut, the more elaborate and the more fancy your icicles can become. After you cut your slit, make sure to not cut the other side too far up. Sometimes it's helpful to draw these lines in pencil first as a guide for cutting. If that's helpful to you, I say go for it. Now I'm ready to cut another slit on each side Again, be careful not to cut too far towards the top, or you may cut your icicle into pieces. Carefully open up the paper and flatten with your hands. I like to flip it over and flatten on that side as well before the next step. You could use a stapler or some tape. For this example, I'm going to go with tape. Starting with the center, you're going to curl up the edges and secure. Let me hold this up so you can see what it looks like. I know it's kind of hard to see clear tape on white paper, and at first it does look a little bit wacky. Okay, once the inside edges are stapled together or taped together, then we're going to move on to the next layer. You're going to flip upside down and curl the next edges up to secure them as well. Again, if you would like to use a stapler, be careful. I'm going to stick with the clear tape for now. Now, the more slits you cut in your paper at the beginning, the more pretty layers you have on your icicles. For the next, let's flip again and repeat. Curl the next edges up to also secure with tape or a staple. Okay, here it is, your first icicle. At this step, I like to get a hole puncher, make a hole, and you can hang it with yarn or string. These are beautiful decorations, especially if you use different color pieces of paper. Now you could stop here and have some beautiful icicles or you can make several icicles to combine them to create a giant 3D snowflake. I love when my artists challenge themselves. So if you would like to stick around and transform those icicles into an amazing snowflake, I like to use a stapler for this part. I start by stapling the edges of two or three icicles together then I carefully fit that stapler in to connect the sides as well. This just helps your icicles from drooping or sagging when you hang up that big, beautiful snowflake on display. We could also call it Mega Flake. As you're stapling all of these beautiful icicles together, think about ways that you can transform your snowflake with different colored pieces of paper. One year, my art club decided to make giant color wheels out of their snowflakes, and they were perfect for decorating the hallway. Okay, our final step is to staple the icicle clusters together. We are so close to being done with these amazing show-stopping snowflakes. Wow, and that's it. All of our hard work has finally come to this amazing ending result. These snowflakes are fantastic. Use that hole puncher, poke a hole. Depending on how thick your paper is, you could use string or yarn to proudly hang them. Take your time, do your best, and make great art.